The Southern Park Mall has some major plans to reinvent itself. Today it was explaining some of the partnerships it has to help offset the costs. I was reporting on those and if they'll impact you. The last brick of the former Sears building fell the day before Thanksgiving. The project remains on schedule to redevelop the site into DeBartolo Commons and open in the fall. Clearing the building and putting new stormwater lines in doesn't generate revenue. It's very difficult in a public, uh, publicly traded company setting to be, make sense of those types of investments, but you need to make them in order to unlock the good value that you can ultimately uh, unlock if you do. The mall's owner is investing $30 million. No government agency is giving up a penny. No resident in Boardman or Mahoning County will pay either. But the mall is using common economic development tools to offset $6 million. The Boardman schools have to approve one of those tools, but figure it will unlock property value with a stronger mall. The oldest part of Center Intermediate School across the street is over 100 years old. A dream of ours someday to replace that building and sell that property. So uh, it'd be nice to see the, the mall thrive. DeBartolo Commons, Steel Valley Brew Works, a hike and bike path, plus green space will make this area a new focal point of Boardman and it could become a leading example of future mall concept. Plans are being put in place to kind of revitalize and retool the area. That's a good thing. It's a really good thing for, for uh, Mahoning County. The reason to get the word out today is because some of the government agencies have to approve unlocking these economic development tools starting within two weeks. Next Friday, the mall is hosting Coffee with the Community. You can ask any specific questions about the project or these development incentives how they work and how they impact you. It's next Friday, 1130 to 1230 at the Southern Park Mall.